Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I will show you the filter function okay spelling mistake so filter function filter function is basically useful in two different condition one when you have to create a virtual table based on a condition and second is when you need to create a new measure based on a condition so in these two scenarios this function is really helpful in the first scenario, we can use the function independent of any other function. But in the second scenario, when you need to create a new measure, we use it along with other function. So I'll show you in a minute as to how we can do that. All right. So what we were going to do is look at the first scenario. So in the first scenario, what we were going to do is we'll come to the orders table. And in the orders table, we were going to create, let's say, a one table which is based on the customer segment. Let's say the we have customer segment, multiple customer segment. If I just uh, select this, all right, let me, yeah, there you go. Consumer corporate. Let's say we want to create a table which only has the consumer uh, details, right? So I'll just delete that. For this, I need to go into the modeling to create a table here we have this new table and as you can see from the tool tip it is saying write a dex expression to create a new table that means it will going to take our dex function filter to the consideration so we'll click here all right um, and now what i will going to write is consumer data and then we'll simply use filter table name is orders and it will be customer segment equals to consumer and we should be good so just want to make sure that c-o-n-s-u-m-e-r yeah otherwise it will return an error or it will not show you the output correctly okay so once we are done with this we'll just click on this right sign and you will see the consumer data table is being created which we can see it over here. And if we look at the customer segment field over here, everything is consumer. So over here, if I select this, the only filter value you were going to get is consumer. So that way you can have your table filtered or a new table, which is based on a given condition. Similarly, you can have something like, uh, if I just expand this, you can have maybe based on the product category, like there is this one which I experimented it with earlier, the furniture table based on the province, region, profit. Let's say you want to get only those data points or you want to create a table from this base table where you have the profit above $100, maybe something like high value, high profit orders or something like that, or a low profit uh, orders, which is less than 10 value of profit, if, if that's the interest area. So that's one scenario. Next scenario is create a new measure based on the condition. So for that, what we need is the new measure and we click it over here. And we'll give a new measure as uh, consumer sales, consumer underscore sales. And we will use the main function, which is calculate. It will going to first ask you the expression. The expression will be the sum of sales, sum of sales orders. Okay. And here we will going to specify the filter as it expects the filter over here. So you'll see filter table is our orders and filter expression is the same, which is customer segment equals to consumer close this close this and we are good if i click it over here you will see the consumer sales is created the only thing you need to make sure is my this particular table was selected the consumer data that's why it is being created over here in consumer sales if i just copy this first what i want to do is i want this to be inside the orders table then only we can see the reference so I will delete this from the model, delete it. Now I'll just make sure that 
I have this table selected and then I click on the new measure to make sure that measure is present in the right table. Consumer underscore sales. Oops, I'll just put it here. So that is calculate or a sales filter. Everything what you write, what we have written it earlier. So, yeah. So now the consumer sales is under the orders table. Okay. So what we were going to do is create a card over here and give it a consumer sales 3.06 million now let's create another card and give it a complete sales which is 14.9 million and next thing is let's bring in the filter at the customer segment which is here when we add the customer segment this is consumer sales if we filter it on here consumer this number should match with this number just to make sure that whatever calculation we have done is correct. So once we click on consumer, it will give you 3.06 million. So that means whatever we have done is right. So similar way you can create your own calculation. Maybe as an experiment, what you can do is for the rest of the customer segment, like corporate home office and small business, create this expression so that by the end of doing this exercise, you will have complete idea how to use the calculate function, the sum function and the filter function to work, uh, together, uh, which is more of like a nested functions within the text. So this can be a good exercise for you. And let me know if you have any question. And if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe it. Subscribe to the channel for keep getting these videos. Thank you.